Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am recording a very special video and this is about everything about infrastructure role. And for this video, I have invited Bharat. So hello Bharat, thank you for accepting my invitation. Could you please give me a quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know about you? Yeah, uh, thank you Amrita for uh, you know inviting me for uh, introducing about the infrastructure role. Yes, uh, myself uh, as you know, uh, Bharat Shanai. And uh, I'm uh, currently uh, has uh, six months of experience at Canta Bangalore, that is Canta Analytics Practice, as a business analyst role. And now I'm currently shifting into infrastructure or service role as I have given, you know, interview for Cognizant. So, yeah, this is my one kind of short description about my self -intro. That's really great. So the very first question I want to ask here, could you please explain what is infrastructure role? Because lots of our viewers don't know about this role. So this is really important to uh, make awareness about this role also. Yeah, sure. Uh, in general, you know, uh, every MNC or startups or, you know, uh, mid-sized companies, they generally want to have their own infrastructures, you know, instead of depending on other third-party companies to handle those infrastructure, uh, you know, services. So uh, nowadays, uh, what the companies are trying to do is, you know, they, they want to build their own infrastructure service so that, you know, they can hire the people who are, you know, well equipped with the knowledge of infrastructure with respect to system administration or network domains or, you know, these kind of stuff. So this will really help to, you know, develop their own infrastructure model and agree with the, you know, uh, upcoming uh, industry uh, standards. This will really help for infrastructure things. So as a part, I said, uh, I have been given an interview for cognizant infrastructure. Uh, infrastructure uh, service will be common for every companies nowadays. Only the thing is that, you know, uh, as I said, uh, cognizant infrastructure, uh, the C stand terms for, uh, you know, either C can be uh, uh, different for different companies. For example, in Cognizant, they say C as Cognizant infrastructure because they have their own, you know, infrastructure service model. Whereas Capgemini, uh, they, say is, uh, they say it as a cloud cloud, you know, cloud computing infrastructure services, etc. These are some, you know, terms they use. Uh, C cannot be normal for every, you know, company. It depends on the company as well, uh, whether it is a product company or MNC service-based company or a startup. That is how, you know, in infrastructure goes on. Yes, so this is really a very great explanation of infrastructure role. Like uh, now our lots of viewers will get lots of benefit from this. Like, uh, uh, like awareness is really important. We Sometimes we don't know about many roles and we uh, got stuck and we can't able to figure out what role they should choose kind of things. So before asking the next question, I want to introduce this channel. So this channel is brought to you by Newton School. Newton School is a very platform in which you software industry a job in the software industry. Now, Newton School is going to start a new batch, which will get you in the description. If you want to visit the Newton School ke platform, ko visit karna chate, uski link will get you in the description. Mil so, you can check out those links and at least you should apply for uh, the first batch. If you want to join, then you will see that you will have to apply for the first batch. So, the second question I want to ask here, like, could you please explain how one can get interview opportunity or job opportunity for this role? Uh, yeah, uh, as I said, uh, you know, uh, there are plenty of opportunities when it comes to, you know, MNC or startups or mid-range companies um, or product companies. Uh, you can apply through careers portal of their company. Whereas, you know, for example, I'll give one example. There is a platform called Superset where Capgemini, Wipro uh, and uh, Hexaware, Cognizant, these, uh, these MNC companies, they hire through Superset, you know for such kind of patrol or CIS infrastructure rules. So this is the one, you know, platform yeah, where you can get an update regarding, you know, these infrastructure roles or, you know, developer roles. Even uh, as you said, Newton School, uh, even I heard, uh, even uh, I go through this uh, Newton School, uh, you know, some of the topics uh, when it comes to database and learning and um, even the Newton School gives you, you know, uh, when, that kind of uh, community uh, industry related, you know, um, structure of feeling where you can uh, work, uh, you will be getting that uh, that image of working experience as uh, Newton School. 
and uh, when it comes to uh, searching the job you can go through the company portals uh, you can also go through linkedin you know where you can contact to hrs of the company and uh, if you are really passionate about you know building uh, you know infrastructure role uh, if you are really passionate to work in network domains or devops cloud related jobs then yeah this is one of the best opportunity for all of you guys yeah so the third question as i want to ask here and this is a really important question and i think our lots of viewers came here to uh, like listen this question only so could you please share your interview experience for your uh, like for different companies that you have given for this role uh yeah uh, first of all uh, i would like to uh, explain regarding you know cognizant infrastructure role how their interview has process Uh, first of all uh, once you you know go through the project uh, you know the detail uh, you know analyze of what role is it if once you analyze the role and responsibility of that role uh, you will apply for the you know that uh, particular job uh, you know job and uh, once you apply for the job uh, you will get an email if you uh, you know uh, qualify all the uh, you know criteria with respect to uh, degree uh, percentages or skill sets what you have if all these criteria gets matches then you will get an uh, email for a uh, first round of, that is nothing but uh, aptitude that is normal in every mnc you know uh, when it comes to off campus or anything uh, first you will get a selection mail that you have been short shortlisted then you will be getting you know email for online test that will be including uh, quants and numerical abilities puzzles reasonings uh, verbals these are some basics excluding you know uh, in this uh, the one major uh, you know thing is that you won't be having coding at all you won't be having coding section since it is purely infrastructure domain it doesn't mean that you are working for infrastructure doesn't mean that you are working for bpo company i uh, there is a myth in nowadays specials saying that you know infrastructure services are, you know uh, you will be handling with the uh, clients call uh, doing cold uh, calling session so this is not that job this is purely you know you will be uh, dealing with the clients uh, with respect to technical uh, you know uh, queries if they have any issues with software installations or hardware installation this uh, this is the best platform for those who are you know uh, trying to grow in their career this is one of the best and uh, once you clear you know uh, the online test you will be getting uh, next mail whether it depends on the graduation level if you are from three degree graduation for example b bca bcom or mcom such kind of bsc uh, you know if this this type of graduation level if you are you are from then you will be uh, getting a call for uh, gd round that is group discussion round where you will be asking uh, some you know current industry related uh, questions uh, you know in the gd round where they will give you one topic you have to speak for 5 to 2 minutes uh, each okay once this is done if you qualify the gd round you will be called for final tr plus hr round for the three tier three degree students when it comes to engineering bachelor's where it is you know four day uh, four years of degree uh, master degree thing uh for them once the online test is done they will be called for direct tr in tr you know uh, they will majorly asking uh, questions with respect to uh, os uh, operating systems database database management systems then uh, networks if you are you know well versed with the network related topics then they will be asking you uh, network related questions then if you have any you know uh infrastructure related uh, you know role uh, experience then they will ask you a, a job role experience if you are done if you have previously work in any other companies then they will ask you wh on what kind of project have you dealt with these are some basic questions they ask uh, whereas i was a experienced person in a, uh, as i said i was working for cantar i am a experienced person but though it is a purely different domain i was working for data analytics part but then uh, they asked me uh, what kind of projects are uh, you are working and uh, you know uh, what uh, makes you, you know uh, what makes you uh, passionate about infrastructure role these are some basic questions they have asked me uh, apart from that uh, purely depends on the hr tr you know uh, 
based on your resumes, uh, they'll be asking your questions. This is uh, about TR. And uh, once you clear TR, you will be called for HR, HR round. Uh, it will be, it will take, uh, usually they take around one week or two weeks of time to get for next round. And then uh, finally, uh, it is HR round where uh, they, they will be uh, taking your self-introduction. It is a common in every HR round. And then uh, they'll be asking about uh, your uh, reallocation whether because you know, now there is no COVID pandemic situation currently. So every company is uh, trying to call to the in office, you know, in, uh, in on-site opportunities itself. So uh, particularly HR for me, they have said, you will be called for on-site opportunity itself. There will, they won't be having, you know, work from home related queries. And, uh, obviously cognizant is a worldwide cognizant has the offices worldwide so they ask you questions related to you know uh regarding cognizant what do you know about cognizant then uh, are you ready to work for a uh, rotational shift because infrastructure role uh, you know it depends on you know if you have if you are fa uh, facing for us based client then you need to work for us related you know time zone then it is totally depend you should be very flexible to work uh, when it comes to infrastructure role and uh, third party said uh, in HR round they do uh, I got a first time experience in cognizant interview uh, I got to know that uh, during HR only they do uh, background verifications I got this I got to know this unique. first time yeah it is really unique because uh, once the self-introduction was done they asked me 10 uh, 12 mass card and degree mass card uh, with the proof it is original itself, not any, uh, you know, other things. You should show them original because they'll be doing cross-checking your marks with the superset uh, uh, platform. Sorry for interrupting here, but I want to ask, like, during the online mode, uh, how you show yeah. your marks? Right? Like, you uploaded this uh, during the interview? Uh, no, no. Uh, they'll give you option of uh, screen sharing. You should okay. keep your... Uh, you should keep all your documents, uh, you know, ready with software, uh, software copy, or else you can show uh, through uh, camera itself. They will just verify your document. That's all. They won't say to uh, mail you the documents. Uh, just for verification purpose, they ask you the documents, and even they ask me a uh, PAN card, other card uh, for government, you know, government related group. And passport is not that mandatory, but yes, once you get onboarded, you may need to uh, be ready with the passport because uh, infrastructure role is mainly, you know, uh, will be handling with on-site, you know, based on business requirement, you need to reallocate to one office to another office. Maybe, for example, if you are working in Bangalore uh, currently and uh, you got a project uh, where you need to deal with uh, Delhi or uh, Gurgaon location, then you may need, you know, uh, these kinds of flexibility. This is uh, how whole interview process has been. Finally, we'll get a selection mail uh, once, you know, get clear with the HR. Then all pre-joining formalities, background verification, and then finally onboarding. Yeah. So actually, uh, I just want to thank you for this because you have explained each and every step in very detailed manner. Like this is like a very uh, good for any uh, podcast. Like if uh, if uh, like someone is explaining everything in very detailed manner, even you have shared that what are the process, how background verification took place kind of things. So this is really yeah. great. 